I think we can get into it. All right, let's do it. Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Rose Traore and I'm a chef in New York City. Today I'm going to show you how to step your game up when it comes to homemade condiments. Mustard, some sweet relish, and a Mornay sauce. I've been cooking for about 10 years now and you know, after working in that fine dining world, there's nothing like a nice hot dog with some amazing condiments. One of my favorite words is finesse. And you'll be able to do that too. All right, so first up, my pickled beer mustard. The great thing about this is that you're able to control the ratios, you're able to know exactly what you're eating, and it's fresh. Everything is dissolved, mustard seeds. Boil for another five minutes and pour in our beer. Pilsner beer, you know, I, I prefer this over IPAs because, you know, IPAs are a bit bitter. You just want it to go on a low simmer, let that ride out for about 20 to 25 minutes, turn it off and let it cool down in its own liquid. The seeds are gonna absorb all of that flavor. At that point, we'll be ready to blend. Start off with a quarter cup of the liquid. Two tablespoons of mustard powder. Half a garlic. Now we're going to be working on the relish. The relish consists of cucumber and sweet peppers. When it comes to the curvy cucumber, it's a bit firmer, has a nice crunch to it, and I'm also going to add in some sweet peppers to that. You know, they obviously don't need to be perfect. You could really just shave this off on your box grater. Bring this to a boil. Make sure all of the ingredients are incorporated and dissolved. Your hot liquid poured over your veg. Wrap that up, let it sit for about six minutes. Then I'm going to give it an ice bath. Once your relish has cooled down, fold in some dill, add in some more texture, add in more elements. It's all about those little steps, those little gestures. That is what forms and creates an amazing condiment, an amazing dish. It's silk, it's smooth. Your Mornay sauce. You have, you know, it's kind of that brown butter, nutty um, you know, smell that's pretty much amazing as it is. step which is straining your Mornay and that's gonna pretty much give you that creaminess that you're looking for. It's nice and glossy and rich. Now my favorite part, it is time to taste all about the condiments. Let's give it a try. That's a good one. I could get the acidity, you know, spiciness from the mustard. And then most importantly, you get that creaminess from your Mornay sauce. That was definitely worth it. Whether you make one, two, or three, you're definitely gonna be stepping your game up and I'm happy that I was able to show you.